Hi, this is Miss Lauren from the Lawrence Branch, and today I'm going to show you an easy and fun way to decorate your windows. We are going to make puffy paint window clings. You can customize them for any time of the year. I especially like doing this project in the winter to make snowflakes. So here are the materials that you'll need. First of all, of course, you need some puffy paints. You can use any color you'd like. I really like the way the um, glittery ones look. It looks really neat when it dries, but any color puffy paint will work. You also need either wax paper or Ziploc bags. Um, I'm gonna try them both and see which method works better, but this is what we're gonna put our paint onto and then let them dry and peel them off. And then if you'd like, you can also use some sort of template. Um, I just have some winter snow themed ones here. So what we're gonna do is place our bag or our uh, wax paper over top and then just trace right over top of it. You do not have to use a template. You can just make up something, whatever you wanna do. Let's get started. So this project is super easy. First, we're gonna try the wax paper. So all I'm gonna do is put a piece of wax paper over top of my template, and then I will begin to use my puffy paints to outline the design. I've definitely found the thicker the paint, the better. You don't want a thin layer, you want a thick layer of paint. I also use a paintbrush to try to smooth it out, but you can create whatever design that you'd like um, for your cling. The Ziploc bag method goes the same way. We're just putting our paint on top of the Ziploc bag. I do find that these snowflakes are kind of thin and it is more difficult. Uh, these might be better for an older child, whereas for the younger child, it's better to do a shape that's much easier to fill in. Now that the painting is done, we wait. Trust me, you want to wait at least overnight. If your paint is thick, like it should be, you might even want to wait two days. You want your paint to completely dry or else when you try to peel it off, it will not come off completely. So once it's dry, begin to carefully peel your window cling off of your Ziploc bag or your wax paper with something as delicate as the snowflake. You want to do it very carefully and very slowly and just sort of take off every little bit one at a time until you can peel the whole thing off. So now that I'm peeling the mitten off of the wax paper, I did find that I think it was easier to peel things off of the Ziploc bag as opposed to the wax paper. It just didn't stick as much. Now for this one, it's a thicker one. And like I told you, you should wait. I did not wait. I was a little impatient. And so I tried to pull it off too early and the middle was still stuck. So I set it aside for a few more hours until it dried more completely. And then I was able to pull the entire thing off. And here are our final products on the windows. Hope you guys had fun and I'll see you next time.